Hello everyone, thank you for joining me today. This is Marilyn Gill. Listen guys, I'm going to make, I haven't eaten breakfast yet and it's after 12. But today I wanted to uh, try, this is a Jiffy Buttermilk Biscuit Milk, Milk, Mix. Um, I'm going to make buttermilk waffles and it gives you the recipe. I've never tried this. It shouldn't be much different than uh, like biscuit. So we shall see. Now I'm gonna open this up. Okay. And it calls for get a spoon or something, a mixer. It calls for three-fourths cup of milk. It calls for one egg. I think it's one egg. Yeah. And when I'm baking, always it's recommended when it says an egg to use a large egg. So that's what I have. And then two tablespoons of oil. I always use canola, but I guess you can use corn or vegetable oil if you want. A lot of times, and I won't do this, I'm going to go strictly by the recipe. A lot of times uh, when I make waffles, I put a little lemon extract with a little bit of fresh lemon, or I use some vanilla paste or extract. Um, Today I'm just going to, I'm going to, I'm going to make it exactly the way the directions say. Okay, let me heat the waffle iron up and I'll be right back. Okay, I put some mix in the middle and, uh, well I sprayed some uh, oil, some butter flavored spray, although this is, um, this is nonstick, I usually have to do that. But anyway, I sprayed it and we're going to wait for the, for the green button to go on. I'll be right back. Okay, the steam is coming up so I think it, they're ready. Look at that. Look at that. That looks so, so good. Perfect, perfect. So, I will take that. I got more batter. Uh oh, it's falling apart. I got more batter. I'm just going to eat one. I'm going to put the batter. Well, I might fix it and then freeze it. So, so guys, there you are. I don't like putting syrup on my um, pancakes or waffles. I put it in a little container, small container, or on the side because I don't like, I like it to stay, my waffles to stay crispy. Or my pancakes, I don't like the soggy. But um, let me taste it. Put in a little oil because I like to also just have determine how much uh, syrup I like.
tastes good, guys, but you know what? I would go on and add that lemon oil or lemon extract. Remember, if you're using lemon oils like what they put in candy, just put a drop or maybe two because they are the oils are so potent. So anyway, guys, thank you. Yes, for added flavor. Go ahead and put the oil. And you can also put whipped cream on this. Put some strawberries or some peaches. You know how you make your peaches like you're getting ready to make peach cobbler? Make your peaches like that and then pour it over. Just don't, you know, slice some pieces. At least I don't. Just slice some peaches and, and there you go. No, I make it with a little less sugar. I make it like, um, like I'm going to make peach cobbler. So guys, thank you. I'm going to slice up some oranges. And, um, I'll be right back. Okay, guys, my battery's getting ready to die, but um, there you go. I just added a few slices of orange because orange converts into, you know, the sweetness of the orange converts into sugar, so I don't do too much sugar. And I made another waffle, which is, you know, didn't meet all the, all the um, size of the waffle, but that's okay. I'm going to freeze. I'm making another one. I'm going to freeze the other one so I don't have to make waffles. And I only keep them in the freezer for a little while, no more than a week or so. But I'm going to use mine for the next few days. So anyway, thank you for joining, guys. Um, my channel, if you haven't subscribed, click that notification. Uh, hit the su subscribe. No, 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 no. Hit the subscribe button. I'm trying to hurry before the battery runs low, uh, die out. And hit that notification bell. And I'll see you with something else good. I'm thinking about a red velvet cake, you know. And if, and if you, um, if you're just by yourself, or if you and your husband or your significant other, um, I'm gonna show you a recipe that uh, is just for two. So anyway, thank you so much, and have a good evening.